Join me in the garage here at Performance HQ. So I will be going through a live workout on IGTV. So I'm actually filming it on my phone. So whatever you see through here is the secondary camera. So apologies if the angle is a little bit off, but hopefully you'll be able to get some benefit from this and you'll be able to enjoy, follow along. This is taken from the Bodyweight Basics program, which School of Calisthenics have made for free. So it's to help you during this time, especially during this COVID-19, where you may not be able to get to the gym and do the things that you usually do. So now more than ever, it's important that you still boost your immunity by moving, enjoying your training. Link in the description below of how you can get hold of that. As I say, until the end of April, it is completely free. It was 40 pounds, now free. So thank you to the School of Calisthenics for making that available. And as I say, I'll be taking you through the workout. Hope you enjoy. So, let's get started. Welcome. Thank you all for joining. Today, I'm Coach Owen. I'm part of the, part of the coaching staff at School of Castanets, and it is my pleasure to welcome you to my garage. So, I know not all of you have got access to different space, so just try and, try and find maybe a space in your, your home, maybe your living room. Jacko was in his kitchen the other day. Tim was outside yesterday. So whatever it is or wherever you can do a little bit of movement, as long as you've got space to move and groove, then, then just make it your own. Sometimes, especially during this period with a lot of the gyms closed, we're just having to make do. So as long as you've got enough space to lie down in, you should be absolutely fine. So to start with, what we're gonna do is get our shoulders nice and warm. So for those of us who have been working at home, maybe you're a little bit, maybe you've been giving the Xbox a little bit too much hammer over the past few days. So what we're gonna to do to start with is basically correct some of this posture. So what we can do is get a little, little bit kyphotic, a little bit internally rotated. So what we're gonna do is try and do the opposite of that, okay? So to start with, stuff on your bum. Again, if you've got okay hamstrings, put your legs flat to the ground. If not, just put a slight bend, okay? So at any point during this, I'll give you options. So don't feel like you need to push through or hurt yourself. The idea is that this might be the first time you've moved today or actively seek out movement. So what we're gonna do is just get you moving and grooving, get the engine oil up to temperature. So to start with, sat on your bums. So from here, I'm gonna take my palms, I'm gonna put them flat on the ground. So notice how in this position, I'm gonna try and get my shoulder blades back here, try and get my shoulder blades to touch. So not here, I'm gonna go, put them back here somewhere, okay? In this position, it's nice to just explore, see what feels good. From here, I'll notice quite quickly that that starts to uh, release so, I can scooch my bum a little bit further away. And I can feel that, feel that stretch coming across the pec and the front of the shoulder. So anterior delt. Again, still keeping shoulder blades back, picking them back together. Oscillating back and forth. And then from here, that still feels even better. So what I'll do, I'll move this way. I can sink even further. Feel that stretch, and you might find that one side feels a little bit more jammed up than the other, a little bit tight. So maybe spend a little longer in that position, but oscillating backwards and forwards. Good, nice guys. Again, all the time I'm trying to do nice deep breaths. Tell myself everything's okay. I've chosen to be here. So now what we're going to do? So notice how in that position, our palms are flat. What I want you to do this time is back of the palms. I'm gonna lean in, okay? Hopefully you can see that. So I'm gonna lean away. So notice how flat the palm, uh, palm is facing me, back of the hand on the floor. I'm gonna turn that elbow pointing backwards and then I feel more of a stretch coming through the elbow. In this position, same principle. I'm just asking the body. I'm not telling it to do anything at this point. I'm just slowly increasing the amount of range that I'm able to access. Oh, that feels good. 
was very good. And again, I noticed how one side feels a little bit more jammed up than the other. So just moving backwards and forwards between those two positions. Good, nice guys. If at any point you need to release that tension, just come away. So final one of these, what I'm gonna get you to do, I'm gonna now get you to go east to west. So before, I always had fingertips facing me. This time, I'm gonna go like that. Left to right, east to west. And then left to right. That feels good. If that, if that um, isn't giving you any pain or discomfort, what we can do now is drop in and come up. Drop in. Again, just moving backwards and forward. Don't worry about reps and sets at this point. Again, this is designed to just get you moving. You can do this any time of the day. Again, some people say potentially they can't. So, don't worry about making the positions look exactly like mine. If you're struggling to get out the back of your hands, just slowly start increasing range. You might, might not be able to get the palm flat. You might be more like this. So over time, basically what that would say to me is there's a little bit of tightness coming through forearm. So over time, work through some of that. Right, we're gonna move on now. It's a little bit of squat. So firing up the hips. Again, those of you who are guilty of a little bit of Xbox, a little bit of laptop, I know I've spent a lot of time on the computer recently. So what I'm gonna do now, work on these hips. So. Standing up, so we're all stood up now. Give it, a, give it a quick wiggle, give it a shimmy. So, squat technique. What I want to do, I want my toes to be slightly pointed out, and as I sit down, I want my knee to go just outside my toe, okay? Now, if you've got good range of motion, you can start sinking a little bit further. Good, at any point if you've got sort of uh, injured knees or bad knees, then feel free to come out. But as you start to get more comfortable, we can sink further and further and further. Till now, I'm in this resting position. I'll show you from the side. So I'm in this resting squat. So notice how my back is the same angle as my knees, okay? I'm not trying to, I'm not here. So if you are struggling to sit down, okay, don't go as far. So feel free to just sit, as long as you've got a good posture here. What I don't want you to see is down here, that you're getting real bad back pain, okay, work to your level. So, sitting in this position, I'm quite confident, I've got a good position. I'll swim back to you, okay? Now I can start exploring that range a little bit more. Again, feel free to put the palms down on the ground. Don't feel like you have to have heart, hands straight up in the air at this point. So, oscillating. Oh, that feels good. Again, over time, you can get further and further. If you are comfortable in this position, your hips feel quite good. Come forwards. So either drop the forearms down, elbows down. Now what we want to do is a little bit of overhead work. Show from the side. So from here. So my thumbs are pointed up like I'm trying to thumb a ride. Yeah, mate. So thumbs up and I'm gonna take those overhead. So working in and out of this position, we're gonna do that 10 times. Nine. Eight. Seven. Good, again, if you need to stand up at any point, do so. Six, five, four, good. Three, you can really, really feel that through the rear shoulder, middle of the back. Two, good, one more. If you're really struggling in that position, what you can do is put one arm down. So you can still concentrate. This is called shoulder flexion. So anything in front of the body, shoulder flexion. Good, nice. So we'll stand up for a minute and then we'll come back down. So standing up, again, just moving that spine left to right. Just 
one and wave. Good. So what we're going to look to do now, so slowly come back down into that squat. And notice how, if you're really struggling, can you see that on camera? If you're really struggling in the squat, you might find yourself coming up onto your toes. That's not a problem. If you're tight through your calves, through your Achilles, then do what you need to do, okay? So no, no pressure. If you need, or over time, you can slowly start bringing those heels down, and that starts to feel good, okay? Right, so in this position, we're now gonna work directly on the hips. So I'm gonna use my arms as balance. Woo! Feel like a Cossack dancer. Right, so from here, I'm gonna internally rotate. So this is predominantly working the hip. So internally, each side. Again, feel free to put hands down to allow that rotation to happen. Again, you'll really start to feel this through your hip. Just working through these positions. If you want to get really funky, if you find it easy, put your arms overhead, but that, that isn't a uh, necessity. But slowly now, working, rotating that hip inwards. Good, making sure you do both sides. Thank you for the love. <clears throat> Good, nice. So this time we'll stand back up. So basically what's happening is I'm breaking everything down and then we're gonna run it together like a sequence. Give it the old Conor McGregor. Dana, Dana, 16 baby. So this one, what we're gonna do now is just a forward fold, okay? So the previous that motion we did before was a squat, so now I'm gonna do like a hinge. So, my bum, I'm thinking about touching my bum against that back wall. Okay, like this. Notice how I'm not slumping through that back. Keeping it nice, okay? So imagine my glutes touching that back wall, but I'm protecting my back, my lower back. So, bringing that belly button in, folding forwards, good. From here, like a, I like to think of a giraffe, trying to take a drink, good. We'll just do a couple of those, you can really feel that coming through your hamstrings. What you might find is, I'm quite narrow on this, so I can fold forward. If you wanna make it slightly easier, go slightly wider, just still pushing that bump back. Good, right, so next, next position. What we're gonna do now is go into your squat. I'm gonna go wider, so like a sumo. Okay, and now I'm gonna walk hands out. So I'm gonna to walk to you guys. Walking out. Okay, so in this position, again, I'll shimmy round, but my glutes are on, like I'm cracking a wall up between my bum cheeks, and my stomach, super tight. This is like a plank position. Okay, so this, I'm staying active through the shoulders. Can you see? Active through the shoulders, I'm not slumping. I'm boom, pushing the ground away. And again, my bum is nice and tight. But I'm, not, I'm not going like this, or no, I'm going like this. Boom, straight arrow between my shoulders, hips and ankles. Good, nice. Again, now we're gonna walk that back. So we're walking back to the start. So, we're now gonna walk out again, but we're gonna hold that in position. So, nice and wide, walking forwards to you guys. So from this position, I'm now gonna bring that foot. So notice how, not like a long, war, uh, long lunge position. So similar, if you see me doing it like, Lizard crawls, very similar to that. So, in this position, just having a little explore. I can really feel that through my uh, rear leg, like the leg extended out the back. Feel like a real big stretch coming through there. Good, what I'm gonna do now, change sides. So, pushing into the ground, elbows pointing backwards. Crank them back, good. Bum into the air. So again, those yogis amongst us, like a downward dog. And then we're going to change that leg. Ooh, that one, that 
almost feels, feels a bit tighter. Again, just moving back and forwards. Notice how, if I want to make it slightly easier on myself, I can put that back knee down. So I'm not taking as much load through my arms and shoulders. But if those of you feel good, boom. And again, feel free to move backwards and forwards between legs. So I'm going to try that other leg, that first leg. Oh yeah. So those of you who think, oh, I've got this, I've absolutely smashed it. So what I'm going to do, increase that range. Oh yeah. That feels good. Again, just asking the body still. I don't know about you, but this, uh, this garage is not very warm. Hence I've got all the layers on. Some of you might be outside. Some of you might be nice and warm in the sunshine, getting your vitamin D. Good, so I've moved on to that other leg. One more on each side, push that bum back. Again, notice how when I'm in this position, I'm not, I'm not head coming forwards. I'm taking my ears, sticking them between my bicep. Boom, like this, okay? So first leg. Again, I bet you guys are gonna lose more reps than me. I'm just talking. <laughs> so again, just exploring those corners, moving through, elbow again, that feels good. Oh yeah. Again, we're constantly trying to increase the amount of range that we're strong and mobile through. Those of you who spent a while doing calisthenics know that you don't get anything for free. So for me, um, I find that when I'm uh, working towards a goal, say for example, like a good line in a handstand, a limiting factor can be overhead. So I need to work on that mobility to get me into that range. So again, we need that strength and beauty can, uh, component. Carlos Santhenos. Good, right, enough of me talking. Come back up. So this time, again, give it the old Conor McGregor, give me the electric slide, whatever you want to do. So this time, what we're going to do, we're going to go from um, a lateral lunge. So, hips facing forward, so notice how I've gone from here, and then I'm going to move over to one side. Okay, so I'm now going to load this leg more than I am this leg. And I'm going to sit into that, okay? Again, don't worry about the thumbs. I don't know why I'm giving everyone a thumbs up. Yay, you can have thumbs up. So, I'm going to lunge, stand up to the middle, and I'm going to move to the other side. Back to the middle. Again, I'm just going to move through these two positions. Again, if you find that you're lifting through the heel, that's not a problem. If you also find that you need to put a hand out, not a problem either. Again, what we're trying to do, the, you can do these exercises any time of the day. I'm just lunging. This is called a lateral lunge. Moving left to right. Again, glutes on when I'm in this top position. Feel a nice stretch coming through. And over time, I can gain more range. So from this side. So over time, I can sit further and further down until eventually your ball will be touching the ground. And then if you can, bring that leg uh, internally rotate like we did in that squat position. Sitting back up, driving up, the other side now. So again, push that bum back, touching that bum to the back wall or fence panel or wherever you find yourself. So we're going to be sitting back, again slowly, 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 internally rotate. Again, if you're doing this with a partner, they can help you up, they can give you a little bit of forward motion to pull you forward. Say for example, I'm here and I'm okay going down, we're stronger in the eccentric, the lower portion, so slowly, slowly, slowly. Say for example, I'll get here and I'm like, ooh, ooh, someone can come in. Give me a little help, or if you've got a coffee table in front of you, you can grab hold of the coffee table, pull yourself back up. Nice guys, really good, really good. So, final one, then we'll put it all together. Woo! So this one, I'm gonna be standing hips facing forwards. 
I'm going to come forward on this right leg. I'm going to take this back leg behind, okay? How do you do? Like a curtsy. So imagine the queen's coming for tea. I'm going to do a curtsy and I'm going to change legs. So I'm going to take, I'm going to change legs now. So load this front leg, back leg behind. So this is the leg doing all the work, this front one. Sitting in, back up. Good, I really like this for the adductors. Okay, you're inside your leg. So, I'm gonna sit down. So again, load this leg. Use my arms for balance. I'm gonna sit in. If that feels good, go all the way down to the ground. Again, not prerequisite. You don't have to be doing this. But if you've got the mobility, as I know some of you will, and then like a scissor lift, I'm squeezing my legs together. Come back to the top. Other leg. Slowly come down. Again, I can feel it on that outside glute as well. Working hard. Sit down, squeeze back up. We can do one more each side, then we put it together. So coming out. Again, load this front leg. Again, over time, you're going to take that other leg further out. Constantina, driving up. Again, I lost my balance a bit there. Trying to show off. Slowly down. Constantina, like fold up. And then coming back up. And drive. Good. Give yourself a clap, guys. So, we're not done, we're not done yet. What we're going to do now is put it all together. And again, what you can do is take these exercises and just do reps of each single one. Again, we've gone through quite a few things. We've gone through squats, internal rotation of the hips. Again, I'm breathing, I'm breathing quite hard. So walkouts, lizards. So what we're gonna do now is just a little circuit. So don't stress. If you lose your spot or lose your position, just catch up when you can. Don't worry about it. Also, for those of you joining later on, or potentially after this event, what you'll be able to do is watch it on the stories, watch it on the live, and go over it, okay? The idea is that we're not getting too bogged down in, like, in the reps and sets. The main things we're focusing on is just being at home, being able to move, maybe you're doing this with your kids, let me know if you're doing it with like, the rest of your family, but the idea is that really excess sport, don't need any equipment for this. But I don't know about you, but you can probably feel it in your hips. Shoulders probably feel quite good. But the main thing about exercise, especially this sort of like good mobilization, low level exercise, is that it boosts your immunity. Like, I know a lot of people talk about superfoods and, and eating, eating good is one of the best things you can do. But also, this is, Totally available to you, do it any time of the day, before work, do it on your lunch break. So, the main thing is, is that you're doing it. So, absolutely, well done guys. Right, let's give me a chance to recover. I'm gonna go through it all. Who's ready? I can't hear you, but I'd imagine you're going, yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, right, let's go. So, what we're gonna do, give yourself plenty of space. Squat first, we're gonna do 10 of each, okay? So 10 squats, 10, nine, eight, seven, good, six, if you wanna make it harder, five, four, three, two, good, one more, we're gonna stay down here. So this time, we're gonna do 10 total reps, internally rotate the hips. We're gonna go 10, nine, good, eight, seven, six, five, you can put your hands down if you want, four, three, two thumbs up, two, one more, good. So that was the internal rotation. So this time, we're gonna work specifically on the arms. Again, if you need to stand up at any point, do so. So we're gonna go, boom, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, 
four, three, we're gonna stand up in a second, don't worry, two, one more, boom. If you need to put your hands down to stand up, you're gonna stand up, go back to that start position. So this time, we're gonna walk out in that lizard position, okay? So, fold the hips, I'm gonna walk out. So notice again, shoulders driving into the ground, I'm not flaring elbows, boom, nice and straight. So I'm gonna bring that hip out, 10. Squeeze, nine, good, reverse, eight, seven, six, nice deep breaths, five, four, again, if your arms are getting tired, don't feel the need to come back each time, three, two, good, last one. And then we're going to walk it back, okay? Remember, pushing back. Go up there, stretching the hamstrings. So we're going to do that lateral squat. And we'll cross that squat, okay? So, total of 10. So we're going to move over. 10. 9. Nice, guys. Go on, keep going. 8. 7. Six. Good, remember that internal rotation. Five. Four. Three. Again, I'm going through this quite quickly. Don't feel like you need to go at the same pace. Two. And one. Good. A quick note on that. Again, if you're struggling to get up out of the lateral, that lateral position, by having something in front of you, it will pull you forwards. So if I'm down here, I can hold something in front to counterbalance, and that'll help me stand up. Okay, just a quick point. So finally, final exercise, we're gonna do that curtsy, okay? So load that right leg, and again, if you wanted to, you could do all 10 reps on one leg for a real pump, or what we're doing is like moving through each side, okay? So, 10, nine, good, take your time, eight, seven, and if you notice, six, the closer I keep this leg, the easier it becomes. If I take it out further, it becomes hard. Three, good. Two, last one. Good, nice guys, good. So again, that was really upper body heavy. So, really appreciate it, functional movers. Woo! So, if you wanted to do like more direct core work, obviously that basically incorporated, incorporated everything. That was good shoulder position, push down, integration of the core, a lot of leg work in there. And again, you'll notice certain legs working harder than the others. Uh, one leg working harder than the other. Um, so that's for you to sort of make a mental note and think, oh actually, yeah, my left side isn't maybe as strong as my right side. Maybe I need to do a bit of work on that. And this is the time, obviously, like with sort of those in enforced quarantine, that we need to sort of be looking back into ourselves, okay? Not focusing on what we can't do, or I can't get to the gym, I can't go and see friends, I can't go to the, to the pub, if you, if you like a beverage. But focus on what you can do, okay? So, just to say thank you very much if you have watched this video, I really do appreciate it. If you wouldn't mind liking, commenting, even subscribing, just so that I can provide value to yourselves, either through the School of Calisthenics or through my own work, I'd love to have you along for the ride. So, I hope you're well, hope you're safe, hope you 
are spending time with your loved ones, especially during these difficult times, and I wish you nothing but health, happiness, and strength.